cabinet. Okay, so there's a mouse in our trailer. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Where? It's in that hole. Yeah. Put on Bentley's gear. What do you mean? It could be a tick. Oh my God, serious? Yeah, $3 per wash? That's expensive. Last place was $1 per wash. It is a supply run day. We need to go grocery shopping and all this good stuff before we get to our next campsite. Uh, the weather is pretty crap today. It's raining pretty hard. Uh, we'll see what it's like once we get to our actual get destination of Lake Revelstoke. We're hoping that it'll be good for the next few days. This is basically one of our favorite spots. It's very private, it's very out of the city. It's great. So we're gonna start heading there now in a little while here once we button up everything here. And we're gonna get on the road. So join us and it'll be a long, long day of driving. We got about six and a half hours of driving and that's without any of the supply runs. We need gas, we need food, we need all this stuff. So let's go. I think we're following the rain. No. That is no We made it and we got the spot. This is on the shores of Lake Revelstoke. We are waterfront. This is our secret dry camping spot. We have two beach access points. Yes, yeah, there's one on this side and then there's one this side. This is gonna be a perfect lake for getting our canoe out here. And I'm gonna try to do some fishing here. It's gonna be good. We got lucky, it's not raining anymore. It was really, really bad weather leading up to this campsite. It started to clear up as we were getting closer, so hopefully it stays this way. Yeah, I think for now, we're just gonna kinda get settled in, relax a bit. A lot of driving today, so pretty tired. Yep. I feel like I've said that a lot, yeah. <laughs> cool, catch you guys in a bit. Hi, hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Me too. Yeah? Put on Bentley's gear. What do you mean? It could be a tick. Oh my god, serious? I'm coming. We have tweezers. How do we get rid of a tick? I have pliers. What are we supposed to do? Grab it by its head and not its body. It depends on how deep it is. So at this point, I was kind of worried because I've never had any experiences with ticks before. We were about 45 minutes to an hour outside of the nearest town with no cell service, so I couldn't look anything up. However, I vaguely remembered something that I had read way back in the day about how if you have a tick, you need to pull it out by its head and not its body. <sighs> Okay. 
Time again. Are we supposed to go take them to bed? I don't know. We should Google it when we go for our supply run and monitor him today. Okay, I need you to hold him. What happens if you squeeze his body? It just doesn't come out? No, like all like the bacteria that's in it goes inside of Bentley and it's not good. It's okay, Bentley. Oh. We should look at the mall. Yeah. That was close. That was weird. That's the first tick we ever seen. Mm -hmm. Or Bentley. But I think I got it out okay. Yeah. It seems to be fine. There's nothing left in it. Good morning, everyone. It has been an eventful morning for sure. <clears throat> we woke up and the sun was shining, which was awesome. And then we came outside to kind of relax a little for like maybe 10 minutes, not even. And then I noticed that Bentley had a tick in his ear, which is not good. Uh, we've never experienced one of those before. And thankfully Mike had some pliers and we were able to rip that sucker out. Bentley's okay so far, but we'll monitor him just to be safe. Checked out all the other dogs and they seem to be okay. And yeah, now we're just hanging out by the water. Mike's back out on the canoe. <gasps> Go get it. Yes, good girl. Come here, come here. Well, it looks like Mike is trapped out there. The anchor has seriously caught something and he cannot get it out. You might have to leave it. I think we have to sacrifice it, Mike. You really got it caught. Well, he somehow did it. cabinet okay so there's a mouse in our trailer oh my, oh my god we're experiencing everything in this trailer ew where did it come in from can it crawl under anything you don't think it's just underneath there could be did you see it yeah okay well then it's probably underneath there Usually, he likes are like taking. Yeah, it's if it's still here, it's like underneath here. I think that's its entry point. Where? Like this hole should be filled completely with like expanding foam. Well, yeah, if it's still here, it's underneath. It can't go anywhere else. It looks like there's like a crack there. Do you see any poo? Like, if there's poo, then it's been here for a while. Underneath the sink. Um, like no wires have been like chewed on. Oh, there it is. Oh where, my God. Where? It's in that hole. It is? Yeah, it's in that hole. This one with the white pipe. Yeah. It's one of those things where you... Oh, there it is. There it is. It's out? It was. I think it might still be. I do not know if I'm going to sleep tonight. All right, well, that was eventful. We didn't, uh, we didn't catch it, but um, we've moved everything out of these cupboards and we've put it elsewhere. Mike found some poop in our top drawer, which had our spices. So obviously they were after that. Yeah, I guess we'll just 
we have no cell service and we're not near any places where we can buy like mouse repellent or mouse traps or anything like that so we basically have to just wait out tonight and either catch it yeah listen for it and maybe we'll catch it or just wait until we get some traps yeah and we have to live with it until at least tomorrow morning <laughs> Ew, this is awful <laughs> Our never, first mouse! Yeah, we never had this happen before in all of our RV adventures, so... Um, We've had a lot of firsts, I feel, in this trailer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... Catch you guys later when something else eventful happens. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, so it's the next day. We don't know. Well, the mouse probably did come back last night. I did hear some stuff like in the middle of the night, but I couldn't tell what it was. Uh, we found some more mouse poop in the drawers this morning. Yeah, we're gonna spend today figuring out how to get rid of this mouse. Uh, go to like a hardware store and get some traps or whatever. Alright, we got mouse traps, we got expanding spray foam, we got steel wool. All recommended things for getting mice out of an RV. Alright, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, now we're gonna stuff a bunch more of this steel wool into all the little holes and crevices. Okay, ignore the train that's driving literally right beside us. Today has been extremely eventful. Now we have just broken that, whatever you want to call that, the slide for our bottom drawer. This is what it would be like on the road full time. Hi. My third time in this That's right. <laughs> That's sure. Well, we may be back again. <laughs> Do you think this will work? I don't know. <laughs> right. So we have removed. The old drawer slides are gone. Oh, I guess it came up right to the it end. It went right. right to the end, and this actually was longer. Look at this. Done like dinner. Way better. Four, once you pulled it full on, the whole thing would just fall out. Like it would come off of its rails on both sides and it would just fall out. But now at least it stays. Well, crisis averted. We fixed it ourselves too, so not bad, eh? Oh man, <laughs> what a day it's been. <laughs> Yeah. Dealing with the mouse and then the drawer falls apart and... Oh, and then gym stuff. We've had some gym stuff oh, right. come up we and that was a little bit of a headache. Our other businesses we've got to deal with. We have guests checking in today at our right. rental house. What time is it? It's one. It's one? Like, yeah. We kind of got going today at like eight in the morning and it's one o'clock and we haven't even left town yet. We're still needing to supply and stuff. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to go stock up and then hit the road. Join us next time as we deal with our campsite flooding and attempt a 30-kilometer hike to Lake O'Hara located in Yoho National Park.